learn how to create this crazy thunderstorm music video effect inside of after effects without any paid plugins then stick around because i'm about to break it down step by step in this tutorial i'm actually a huge fan of this effect and i've been doing it for years in my music videos and it just never gets old so let's get right into it i'm in after effects and i got this music video right here shot by unified atlantic is a sick shot so the first thing i'll start off by doing is selecting my clip and going right up to tracker and if you can't find your tracker tab then just head right up to window and select tracker and here in the tracker tab i'll select track camera because we'll camera track our scene and i'll open up the advanced tab and select detail analysis as well and then we'll just let it analyze for a couple of seconds and then we'll have our points on the screen so our scene is tracked now and we got all these tiny points right here uh, I want to make them bigger so I'll just size them up right here and I'll choose one of the points in the background it doesn't have to be in the sky just select something that's static like the trees so something that's not moving if you do on his hands or on his leg that will kind of mess up our tracking I'll select the trees right here in the background and I'll just right click on it create a solid and a camera and now that we got this in place what I'll do is I'll import my overlays so this is my cloud overlay that I got right here I got it straight off YouTube it's like the first thing that pops up when you search up thunderstorm overlay and I'll turn it into a 3d layer just like this and then I'll be pressing P on my keyboard for my overlay and for the solid and then I'll copy this position and paste it onto the overlay. So now as you can see our overlay is completely tracked to our scene. But that's not really where we want our overlay. We want it like up here in the sky. So to get that I'll be messing a little bit with a lot of stuff. First off I'll start off by masking out my subject right here. Because he's kind of in the way. So let's select our bottom clip. We can just name them real quick. I named this one like background. And then I'll duplicate the background. And we can actually remove the camera tracker and we'll name this subject and for our subject layer if you haven't guessed it yet we'll be using the rotor brush tool to rotoscope him out so double click on your layer and grab the rotor brush tool and let's start masking out i do have another guy right here but i don't think that i need to mask him out since he isn't like covering the sky like this guy is so the mask doesn't have to be perfect especially not like down here because that doesn't really matter it's mainly the top part right here so I basically masked out my subject right now and it looks like this but now I'll be freezing my mask just to make sure that it's locked in place and you do that by pressing the freeze button right here now that my mask is frozen we're pretty much done so what I'll do is move this subject layer on top of everything all the way there and now I'll be adding on a refined soft matte effect onto my subject layer just to make my mask a little bit smoother so we can turn down the additional edge radius to 3 and bump up the feather a little bit just like that or yeah just like that and then for this dark cloud overlay i'll be moving it like right here and sizing it up using the scale and then i'll be changing the blending mode to like lighten or we can do screen let's go for lighten and then we can add on a curve and we'll just do something like that that should be good but we can see that the edges is looking really horrible right now. So to get rid of that, I'll create a mask using the rectangle tool just around here, just like this. And then I'll just bump up the feather a lot, like to 300. And then I'll drag down the mask expansion just like that. And then we'll, and then we'll be compositing it a little bit just to make it look good. But it should look something like this. That's good. One thing that's really annoying me is these black bars because the clouds kind of go over the black bars. So what I'll do is, if you don't have these black bars, you don't need to do this. I'll just add on a crop edges effect. And I'll remove the right and the left. And for the top one, I'll just make it so it covers my overlay. Just like that. And right now it looks like this, which is good. Don't get me wrong. But we can definitely spice this up a little bit more. And to spice this up a little bit, I'll be adding on a color balance effect onto my overlay. And this is just to shift the colors a little bit. Because I want to go for something like a blue color so i'll bump up the saturation a little bit just so we can match the rest of the scene but if you have like a red theme then go ahead and go for a red color i think that can also look really good but this is what i'm gonna go for and i'll bump up the lightness a little bit as well we can add on a deep glow onto this and see what it looks like yeah that looks that looks a little bit better i think i'm gonna go for this and then i'll duplicate my overlay and then i'll move it to this side and kind of rotate it to the other way just like this so i can have it on both sides and then i'll pick another part of the clip so they don't really look the same so if i play through right now it looks like this and it's absolutely insane it's a sick effect the only thing that's left to fix is this lining right here 
kind of comes above the trees. So to get rid of that, what I'll do is I'll duplicate this background layer and I'll put it on top of everything. And here for this layer, I'll press this button right here just so I can isolate it and just see this clip. And then I'll add on a Luma key effect. And here for the Luma key, I'll select key out brighter and I'll key out my trees just like this and then kind of create a mask around them just like this. And then I'll just simply animate the mask real quick just so it's stuck on the trees. You don't have to do too much. This is pretty quick to do just like that. So we have the trees on top of the lightning right now. And then we can add on a tiny feather as well, like four, something like this. That looks good. And then we can play it all through and see what it looks like. And and now it looks like this, which is abs like it looks it looks so crazy. I'm a huge fan of this. Sorry if I'm lazy myself a little bit, but now I do have one final thing that I want to do, or actually two final things. Right here, when the lightning kind of strikes. As you can see when it's glowing i want to add on an exposure effect so for every lightning strike we can bump it up to like 2 or 1.75 so keyframe the exposure then go back turn it down to zero and then when the lightning kind of disappears right here we can turn it down to zero once again so we'll have these flashes for every single lightning strike so i'll just copy this paste it for the next lightning strike right there just like that, we can make this one a little bit brighter just so we have some kind of variation in the scene. And this one stays for a little bit longer, so I'll drag it out. And we can create a keyframe here as well to like 2.5 and we'll make it a little bit darker here at the start. So it goes from nothing to bright to even brighter and then down. That looks a little bit shitty if I'm being honest, but just mess around with it, you get the point. You could even speed up your lightning overlays in the background if you want that. That could also look crazy but you get my point so this is pretty much what i got it's a sick effect and one final thing i want to do is add on a curve on top of everything and just create a basic s curve to kind of color correct this scene that looks crazy i'm a huge fan of this but i'll have all of my plugins presets overlays you know all of that good stuff linked in my description but thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow in the next one